Hello, AHS, and welcome back to the Hawks cast. Today, I'm joined with... And the one and only... Mr. Swanson. And, you know, everybody knows Swanson is such a yapper. All he does is talk. Yap, 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 yap. And me and Allison are all by ourselves this period, so we figured we would get him on the podcast. I guess. We don't really have another guest option, so last resort, but... Swanson, what would you like to yap about today? Well, you if you remember, Rhea, just before we started this podcast, um, <laughs> one of the questions asked was, uh, where do you see yourselves in a few years? But not in that kind of generic way, you know, like, mm-hmm. I'm going to graduate high school and I see myself married with three kids or, you know, rolling the world <laughs> or whatever. I like both your reactions. Yeah. To that. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, how do you see yourselves as in terms of changing? Like... Um, I think one of the neat things about high school in particular is it's adolescence is a lot of trying to find yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, that's kind of the whole thing you see. And as from a teacher's point of view, it is interesting because junior high, ninth grade kids are all over the place trying out different things. You know, sophomore, junior year, they kind of settle in. But then that becomes almost your singular identity. Then senior year, I think you start to try to figure out who you actually are. And that actually does continue into your early 20s, I think. I don't think you ever fully settle into who you are until you're probably in your early to mid-20s. But the bulk of that work happens in high school. So basically what I'm saying is I don't think either of you are going to be entirely different people, but, you know, there's going to be aspects of yourselves that change. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because for better or for worse, uh, this is your life. This is your little fishbowl. And you are confined. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and you're confined by that to a certain degree. So, yeah. How do you see yourselves changing? I mean, we're all, we're separating our groups. Yeah, we have been in the same friend group. We have only, like, specifically hung out with the same people for, like, since sixth grade. So, that's going to be a change that I don't think that I'm ready for. Around each other. Yeah, like I f- like we are like puzzle pieces, and we just like we can't make decisions on our own. We have to base it around the other ones. Yeah. Well, that is true. There is a definite sense of codependency. Tank. Yeah, the co- co- codependency. <laughs> it's yeah, it's and, so bad. And it's generally codependency is generally not considered a positive. <laughs> a positive yeah. thing. Or positive. <laughs> there yeah. you are. I think you're a little quiet before I listen. Huh. Like keep on that mic. Yeah, so that'll be a change mm-hmm. and I feel like I'll have to like rebuild my whole personality to feel okay with that. I don't think you rebuild your entire personality though. You know what I mean? I think you like I said you go you have this notion when you're your age and you're about to go off into high school or, or high school alpha and leave high school and go off to college or whatever and you kind of have this notion that um you can entirely reinvent yourself which mm-hmm. to a certain degree is true but I don't think you're really changing you you're maybe just being more changing, true to changing, who you yeah. are you know because for better or for worse you have been kind of like You've been around the same people in the same basic si- mm-hmm. situation for however many years. You have your group of friends, and you guys... That needs some WD-40. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> you Jeez. do. You are an amazing group of friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish you could see that right now. Ray is just so, like... It's bad. So amazed. elegant. <laughs> yeah, so elegant. Ray, yeah. <laughs> stop anyway, stop but... it. <laughs> stop it, Ray. Stop it. Um, I'm not a dog. Stop it. <laughs> Don't do... Stop it, Ray. <laughs> Uh, now I completely anyway. lost my train of thought. You, just, you group of kids or something? Oh, yeah, you group of kids. No, I mean, you have been around. And, and and you girls in particular, I mean, let's be honest, like you two and Michaela in particular, you are like a little like think tank, think group. And, yeah. and We're a unit. Yeah, you, are, you are. You're a unit. And um, I don't know. I mean, I've seen you off by yourselves, but I don't know if I've ever seen all three of you separately off by yourselves. You know what and I mean? Not for any extended Not period of time. Not for any extended time. period of time. You know, yeah. you're either together or it's like Allison's doing something and Ray and Michaela together. Or mm-hmm. Ray's doing something and Allison and Michaela's together. Or maybe once in a while you two are doing something and Michaela's yeah. off. You know what I mean? But you're never too far removed mm. from one another. And fortunately, I think you're all good girls and, you know, good people in the whole nine yards. And I think you're ultimately good influences on one another. Mm. But um, uh, That's debatable. Have you seen our bank accounts? <laughs> <laughs> I said good as in 
good character. I didn't say mm-hmm. smart, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As in money spent. But on the same token, you know, you are a, this age once. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think, I forget which one of you flat out asked me, probably Michaela, flat out asked me um, if I thought it was a bad decision to spend some of your money on what you're spending your money on. It was Kayla. And yeah, um, was my, Kayla. my answer was, is it going to make or break you start in college? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. when you want to start college and if the answer is no then you are only young once you know like but mm-hmm. if it is going to be something that derails your plan for your future then obviously yeah it's not the smartest choice in the world i mean you're young be young yeah you know be you but you are going to go off and you're going to meet different people and all three of you are going to have a hard time yeah kind of Definitely. I think Ray is going to cope with this by like 24 7 video calls. Yeah. Like, I cannot do anything by myself ever. She can't. Like, I I am the most anxious person you will ever meet, ever. And I cannot do anything by myself. Like, I can, but like with the emotional support of one of them. Or guidance. Guidance, yeah. (laughs) Okay. You Allison's need face. WD-40 on this microphone. You need WD-40 well, on all these microphones. Stop messing with it. You're supposed to put it in place and leave it there, not messing with it as you go. Well, I need Allison. to readjust every once in a while. Allison, you stop it. Look, if your forward decides that it needs to make that sound every time I there touch you it, are. that's like, yeah, your fault. Like, yeah, I, I could barely hear you before now. I can hear you. Okay, it's anyway, forward. guys. Oh. Well, Bring don't it back it. to Earth. You're going to touch it again. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue? Yeah. Where'd I leave off? I don't know. I think you left off. Yeah, Did you I? left off. Yeah. About what? About how <laughs> bad you are about without, without oh, us. Yeah. Like, it's so bad. And I think you're a little like that, too. But, mm-hmm. like, you can make decisions for yourself perfectly fine. See, no. I can make, like, the the real life decisions. But, like, all of the, like, yeah. I want to go do things. I want to hang out with people. Things. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Social decisions. Not so yeah. much for yeah. Allison. No. Ray, what decisions can you make well by yourself? <laughs> None. <laughs> Literally nothing. Literally nothing whatsoever. Like, I think every like big decision I've ever made, I've had to consult. With yeah, I I can't think of a decision you have made since I've known you that wasn't pretty much made by Michaela and I. Yeah. <laughs> well, you. One good thing for your generation is the whole social media technology thing, right? Because mm-hmm. you're going to be in very different places, but yeah. you are going to be able to stay in touch in a way mm-hmm. that you just couldn't whenever I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, you'd have maybe the occasional email or um, phone call if you're lucky or something like that. But yeah. but you will. You'll be able to stay in touch with each other, which is really good because mm-hmm. uh, uh, you're about to enter a really big transition, Yeah. like truthfully. And one of my things that I try to drive into seniors every year and i we're not we're coming up on the end of the year but we're not quite there yet so i don't know if i started this whole like yapping spiel. um the spiel yeah. but i'll give you a little sneak peek mm, uh, thanks y'all you're welcome just for you Allison. such, a, such yeah. a kind hey, soul you, you are you asked me to be on here mm. anyway um it, it it's a transition and any transition in life is hard mm-hmm. honestly you know and and you can expect it to be hard for the first few months or whatever but Once you negotiate that transition, where you find yourself in life should be better for you than the stage you just came from. If it is not, you are doing something wrong. And you need to reevaluate what you're doing, why you're doing it, and make whatever change you need to make to make that happen. Because life transitions are very hard. Um, But once you make it, you know, you should be in it and you should be living it. And you are fortunate in that you have a support group in one another. Um, I don't know how often you girls have looked at the pictures in the classroom over there, but those are my best friends since like first grade. Mm -hmm. And um, there have been major life events over the years, even into adulthood after we've been married and fathers and the whole nine yards, um, where we still consult one another a little bit, you know. Uh, Obviously, guys are probably a little bit different than girls in that regard. And Mm -hmm. then the generation difference probably comes in place well because it's not as like we're not as instant on each other. But when you have a support group like the three you have, uh, that is truthfully something special. And um, that's not something that you're necessarily going to lose either. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you can rely on. (coughs) Resume. Okay. Okay, So picking it back up, (laughs) Allison Beller. You're welcome. Uh, Like, yeah, I have that. But at the same time, you got to go out on your own. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. 
And for, I don't know why I keep thinking Ray for this, but it's, <laughs> it's going to be true for you, Allison, and Kayla as well. Like, um, a part of who each of you are is made up of the other two. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And that's never going to change. You're going to carry that through the rest of your life because you have been there for each other during the most formative mm -hmm. parts of your life in terms of like social growth and kind of figuring out who you are and what your priorities are and stuff like that. But you, you will. You'll be able to make a decision, Ray. I promise. <laughs> it, it's it's going to be, I mean, I'm sure you're going to stress yourself out a lot. I'm sure you're going to screw up a lot. But well, thanks. Yeah. she's going to have to because the head of our group is going to be asleep while she's making her decisions. Yeah, she's going to be on the other side of yes. the world. But no, Ray, you are going, you're going to do it, Jenny. You're going to do all right. Oh, and, and when you realize, Miss Hawk, that you are <laughs> capable it's gonna like change your world mm -hmm. you know what i mean and and you will find yourself maybe dri drifting might not be the word i want to use but the three of you will drift to a certain point but that doesn't mean that that core isn't still there mm -hmm. you know when i say drift i mean like you won't be as reliant on one another yeah as you are but that doesn't mean that that tether doesn't still exist like when i consider the guys in the picture out there with me like that's exactly how we are um one guy lives out of state, and I see him face-to-face -face twice, maybe three times a year. Uh, but it's quite literally, you can just pick up exactly where you left off. And if I needed something, if my whole life was falling apart right now, I could call him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and if I needed him to be here with me, as soon as he was able to, he would, he would be here mm -hmm. with me. You know what I mean? But we've grown and we've adulted but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that that's not still there and there are still instances in every aspect of my life even as your teacher where i recognize some of the decisions i make or some of the approaches i take are influences on from those friendships and relationships that go back mm -hmm. well i'm only t 29 years old um to go all the way back to like the first grade and your turn ray my turn mm-hmm I don't feel like a lot of old people like have like strong friendships though. Like I just feel like a lot of like old people friendships. She is <laughs> calling you old. I am yeah, calling I, you I old. think she is. Yeah. yeah. But like, like my dad has friends, and he'll like, he'll be like, yeah, like if I found myself in a situation, like he would give me the clothes off his back, but he doesn't really like talk to them very mm -hmm. often. Well, like that's kind of what I was getting to, and and to be honest, not everybody has true true friendships you know and um would you say that you do yeah i would say those three guys in the picture with me out there definitely do you They're, like hang out with them not like no. i used to but i'm also like a middle-aged married man with children yeah like, you know what you i mean like, you don't do anything do you meet them? up with them once like, in a while yeah like one once in a while but i think uh, girls what you need to understand is the older you get the definition of what that means kind of changes all right so um excuses Excuses, yeah. excuses. I think you're just a no friend loser. You think yeah. that's what it is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm actually not married either. It's all fake. I just go yeah. home and cry every night. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. And all alone. Mm -hmm. Wait with to come cats. back here. Yes, with my cats. Love my cats. <laughs> uh, no, like, well, you said that, like, uh, friends like that, because life happens. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you do. You do drift, but the tether doesn't break. And honestly, to find friends that are more like family. Mm -hmm. um, which those guys are to me and which I can see very clearly the three you girls are to one another. Not everybody has that. That's really. True. Not which is so weird. Most, I, yeah, weird it strikes me. me as weird too. Like I, I feel bad for people that don't have that. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I, probably one of the reasons why I like you three girls so much is you truly remind me in a lot of ways of my guys and I, my boys, you know, like <laughs> when we were growing up. Um, but... You do. You have you have a true friendship. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you have like a very true friendship. And I think especially at your age, what a lot of kids consider a friendship is more, um, for lack of a better term, a situation ship. And not the way that you all <laughs> use it today, yeah. but a situation ship in terms of, you know, you find yourself in a situation. You you're in school together. To to. You're in class mm -hmm. to get, you know, you need someone to talk to. You might have a superficial mm -hmm. commonality. You know, you might you very well might even like each other. You might get along. But it's surface level. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I certainly had friends like that, too. And they weren't bad people. And we I were, have friends like that, too. Yeah, like ev that. everybody does. And mm -hmm. I think the difference is um, you don't necessarily want to be the person with 
all the friends. You want to be the person with... Two good friends. Uh, yeah, like a handful of true mm-hmm. friends. And that's what I think you girls have going on. And that's why I think you will probably end up uh, not all that different from myself and my boys. Like, um, keeping in mind that, you know, like, you're gener- Like, yeah, I mean, I know full well you keep in touch with each other through your phones and everything like that in a way that we didn't. I mean, we do have a group chat that we get on and we make each other laugh on every Aww. once in a while, you know. But sometimes it goes silent for, like, a month and a half. You know what I mean? And it's I not mean, that I we're... I didn't text either of them the entire COVID year. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, there you go. But that was also an extreme circumstance, yeah. to be honest. Um, especially your age. Your kids are like ninth grade, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were like 13. Yeah, that, that was a really bad age to go through that. Um, not that any age was good, but I think that was like one of the really bad ages to be to go through all that. But, uh, you know, like it'll go quiet and then someone kicks in. And then it's you, you literally mm-hmm. pick up where you left off. And yeah. if your parents or someone older old people say mm-hmm. something like that chances are that's probably what they mean mm-hmm. you know um like i said the one guy and we are about as different as different can be uh there's four of us but three of us were neighbors and so like and we we're as different as different can be believe it or not i had hair i was blonde kind of oh, like wow. allison's hair color um brock was and i was the artsy geeky kid which i know will surprise both of you a lot mm, so much i know so much brock was the jock he was the redhead <laughs> and chance was kind of like the um the player type you know what i mean like the cool the cool operator type and then ryan the other guy was kind of like the hey <laughs> you know just just the kind of their guy and we were as different as different could be but it didn't matter you know what i mean like that tether never ever 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 changed nothing nothing broke it whereas you know if i was like the artsy kid and brock was the jock by the laws of high school we should have not been friends yeah he shouldn't have bullied you yeah he should have bullied me um but you know like we were best men in each other's wedding i mean we were the whole way around like chance and i are brock's best men brock and i are chance best men brock and chance are my best men like we did co-best men the whole way around um but by by the laws we shouldn't have been friends but we were and we are and like nothing can break that and i mean you girls obviously have some very strong commonalities which i won't bring up on the podcast in terms of interest (laughs) or whatever but um you also have your differences too like you, you what really are our do. roles? Because you gave all of your friends. Yeah, roles. what are our roles? So I'm interested. Well, you already you already described Michaela's your leader. Like yeah. you, you just outed that. Well, I, yeah, I meant head decision maker, but yeah, yeah. That's yeah it. I mean, I, and if, if if I were breaking it down into that trope, I'd say Kayla's your leader. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say Ellison, you're probably the lieutenant commander. You know, you're like second in in charge <laughs> in that line. Thanks. And uh, Raya, I I think you're kind of like like the wild card. For lack I'm like of, the other one that you said was like, hey. Hey, yeah. You're, 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 you're kind of like the out there one. You pop in and you fill where we need you to fill. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, and Ray, you're just Ray. No, uh, yeah. well, whereas we had very different interests, right? Like you had yeah. the artsy one, the jock one, and then like the, the cool one. Although mm-hmm. I guess sometimes the cool one can be the jock one. And once in a blue moon, the cool one can be the artsy one too. I think you are all like more similar in that regard than maybe the three of us were. But I do think you do have very distinct personality traits and you do have very distinct like intricacies and interests. I mean, even the things that you have an interest in, your approach to it is very different, Yeah. you know, and, and your obsessions <laughs> over <laughs> things, even though you obsess over basically the same thing or the same kind of thing. Uh, it, it is, is, it is, it's different. And um, that's what really matters. It's not that you enjoy whatever it is that you enjoy. It's that you enjoy each other enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And I know you're doing your own senior trip thing and all of that. And I mean, obviously what you're going to do is an experience you're never going to forget. And it's going to be amazing. But what you're going to be thankful for later is that you did it together. Yeah. You know, it's going to be less about what you did. It's it's not about what you did. It's about who you're with. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, like those little min- millennial signs. Yes, exactly. Well, Ray is only doing half of it together. Yeah. Well, we did already establish that she's kind of the wild card. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the bit there. Yeah. You got to come with us. Mm-hmm. But I do think, yeah, um, I'd be very interested to see where you girls are in your probably mid-20s like get, get you out of college get you established a year or two i'd be very very curious to 
to see how you're doing. I have no doubt that all three of you are going to be successful in your own way. Oh, thanks. But I yeah. do think. Thanks. Well, I mean that. And, and But I do think you're going to go very different mm-hmm. ways. And I do think um, that success is going to look different for all three of you. But I have no doubt that you're going to be successful in what you try to do. Thanks. Oh my God, Ray just cried real tears. She's, she's no. bawling her she's eyes She's sobbing out. right no. now. Yeah, I am, guys. She can't oh. stop. Yeah. I, I was actually shedding tears earlier today. Wow, that's amazing, today Ellie. <laughs> because I don't want to graduate. I was shedding tears. <laughs> <laughs> so Ray, Ray's an emotional wreck right now, and Allison's sitting over there, like, making snowmen and <laughs> other designs with her headphone yeah. wire <laughs> spinning around in the chair. Yeah, um... Just so happy to be speaking right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what else can I yap about? Uh, right. What do you want to yap about? Just give us something and we'll go off of you. <laughs> something, something to yap about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, okay. I'm kind of curious. What makes me a yapper? How do I yap? Oh my God. Have you not heard yourself? No, no, because I'm talking all the time. Exactly. I don't listen to myself. Yeah. Like, literally, have you not? Like, you just, you can't see me right now. I'll, like, but... She's making the yap uh, symbol. Her. The yap symbol. Yeah, with her hands, like... Yeah, yeah. That's that's how you are. What What's the what's the voice you give me when you're, like, quoting me? Okay, yeah. Then. No, I it's do not like that. That's the calico critter talking oh, voice. Oh, oh, my bad. Like, so I'm more like... Yeah, and then the other one's like... Oh, so that one's more cutesy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and, and, and my, and and my is yap annoying, is just agitating, annoying. Right. aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive. <laughs> I'm aggressive in my aggressively yapping. Aggressively done. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, what do I yap about if Just I'm such anything a yapper? And everything. Like, anything and do I ever yeah. shut up? No. 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 Then no. why are you down here all the time if I never shut up and well, I'm so annoyingly has, aggressive? Am I yapping? He, he hasn't yapped for a long yet. time because there's been so many situations where you would just like ask like one of us a question and then more people would come in and we would just like have like a 45 minute discussion about the most random philosophical like, questions yeah. yeah but i actually did have an educational it, yeah, reason it had a, it, believe yeah. it or not yeah it's, we know yapping with it's a still. purpose yeah that's, with you, a purpose. that's what you should name this podcast yapping with a purpose <laughs> yeah okay yapping with a purpose like i don't maybe I, don't I should know. take back everything i said before what are you going to do without your friends <laughs> <laughs> Give me a new question. I, I don't we're like that we're one. out of time, and you girls ride the bus. What time is it? It's 18. Like 18. Oh, sh- I can't say that word, but okay. <laughs> you said shoot. It's fine. Yeah. Anyways, AHS. Bye. That's all we got today. Thanks, Donald Swanson. Have a wonderful, splendid rest of your day. See ya.